back, ladles and gentrymen. This is Twisted Teach, your host here for a Rogue Adventure Beginner's Guide, getting every single class in Rogue Adventure to Inferno level 10 and unlocking all the class bonuses. Today we will be covering Paladin, Normal, and Inferno 1. <clears throat> First we'll be doing the normal run. So, Paladin starts with 60 HP. It's base effect. At the end of your turn, heal 1 for each combat card in your hand. Upgrade. Permanently raise your max HP by 2 after defeating an elite, and by 4 after defeating a boss. Really good to get before your first elite fight. So, we're going to be starting on normal. Let's get started. We're going to take the gold and try to get that level quick. We're going to rush down the left side for advanced. And beginners are also going to go down the far left side. So, this... Deal damage equal to 10% of your max HP to all enemies. Rounded down. Apply 2 weak to all enemies. You lose 2 HP. Deal 4 damage. Every time you heal yourself, this card gains plus 2 damage until the end of combat. So. Apply a bunch of weak. This. Gain shield equal to 10% of your max HP rounded down. This card is your hand at the end of your turn. Raise your max HP by 5 until the end of combat. Give ourselves the shield. Start attacking. We heal. We get a bunch of HP. We get a bunch of damage. This dude. Deal damage equal to 10% of your max HP rounded down. If this attack kills an enemy, daze all enemies, and exile this card. Possibly gonna go the young mermaid there. Half tempted. Let's go Knight of the Sigil instead. Get ourselves back above that 60 threshold because that's our normal HP out of combat. Going angels with this deck is really not that bad. Get a bunch of shield here. That's what we're going to go for. <clears throat> Upgrade our class skill. And then we go on to the elite. Werewolf. That's fine. That's easy to deal with. Werewolf is really easy with Paladin because then you can just burst out his, were his extra wolves and uh, <clears throat> basically um, cause him to be dazed when you kill his wolf with the uh, one of the cards.
Hmm. Let's see, we're facing Gorilla? No. Take a little bit of damage here, but that's fine. We'll be able to get that all back when we're fighting uh, the tree. Almost back up to full HP, which is max 62. Illusionist is really good. We would never play it. It does 10 damage to all enemies and applies weak. So for beginners, go down the far right side, and we're going to try to hit as many elites now <clears throat> since we've leveled up our class ability for more advanced people. So let's go down the left. Be short on a little bit of HP for this round, but that's fine. I think we're gonna go skip a card. Seven of the damage, still get six coming through. Not able to block all the damage again, taking 13 from this guy's crit. Let's see if we can't get our health back. <clears throat> stats.
Queen, Queen. <clears throat> We got more than enough gems now. We're gonna daze all enemies at the beginning of combat. Start each combat with an oracle statue in hand. It's really not that bad. Mm. Let's see. I think I'm gonna start with the oracle in the deck. Let's go ahead and call that that. Hmm. So we're just going to basically let our cards stack um, damage. The reason we're going to do this is because we heal every turn, increasing our max HP. And this just allows us to go up and up and up and up and up while being able to scale our damage so that we'll be able to just murder him. Because we're doing 14 damage um, right now. And that should up our damage. Um, we're doing 16 now. We've got 7 card play. So if we do about 20 damage... I think it would be easy to do, especially since every time we have Illusionist in hand, he deals 10 damage. So, so far we've dealt 27. Um, we need 40 damage, it looks like, almost, actually. Uh, what are we doing, 26 so far? We're still healing pretty regularly. There we go, keep healing up. Now we're doing 10 damage. Um, there we go. I think we could start doing damage to him again. And he's just going to die really, really quickly now. This is one of the easiest bosses for Paladin, just because you can scale your damage infinitely. Um, and then just go in on him. go. Just like that, Golem's dead. We're going to take the get rid of debuff and apply weak to all enemies. Hmm. Neffel, huh? 16 all enemies, then you take 6 damage or heal 6 if you're below 50%. Um, I don't think it's honestly worth it. I think I'm going to go, let's replicate a card. Let's go ahead and get... Hmm. Heal one for every combat card in your hand at the end of combat. Let's go ahead and get another Angel Archer. It's not a terrible idea. go. We're going to take a little bit of damage, but that's not too too bad, just because we just go back up to full HP after that almost. Get silenced. Not too concerned about it. We get cursed, and then we get blocked the following turn. Nope, not able to get put anything played. That's fine, it only deals 7 damage to us though. This is the turn though, that they're gonna try to do big boy damage to us. So, we're going to take 20 regardless here, but we're only down to 51, so, um, another big boy damage coming through on us this turn, that's fine.
applies silence. There we go, and there's all the damage you need. Methyl, there we go. Probably gonna take. I'm actually gonna take the Evoke Four Nature Beasts just because they're really strong. So for beginners, you're going to want to go down the far left side, and for experts that want all of the stat increases that you could possibly get, um, go down the far right side. Resistance, gain immunity this turn. Boop. Able to block all the damage coming through. One shot that. There we go. Get silenced. Doesn't matter too much. Then you just kill them. We're going to take the gemstone. We're going to go here. Shuffle the uh, beasts into our deck. They'll come back around. I'm not too worried. Deal us some damage. Take some damage. We always want to be taking damage. Because the more damage we take, the more stats we get. We get fairy plays. We get Mermaid Queen to level up. Um... Two resistance before two strength. Always want to get that resistance because we got Mermaid Queen right now, so. We end up killing him. Then we move on. Take on the Elite. 15 damage. Reshuffle hand. All the damage. close to the same as we can. We'll get a bunch of stats going. We'll take five damage. It's really not that troublesome to take the damage. Take a bunch of damage there. to the best of our ability. We're going to take 20 damage regardless. Taking a bunch of damage from these guys. We'll go ahead and immunity here. At least he's only at 60 HP and he's only at 34, so that's fine. Chests. It's a good thing we managed to get them uh, dazed to the first turn, so they're not going to be able to do anything. And then we just go boop. And then we do as much damage as we possibly can. And they deal as little damage as, we, as they can as well, so bring them as low as possible. 
take the damage. Get as much health as we can. There we go. We're gonna go ahead and poop. Trying to get that resistance pumped up as quickly as possible because we hit that 30 resistance mark and we get the Mermaid Queen leveled up. So, block all the damage coming in through here. Disable or daze them again with the uh, cleric. And then we could just go in for. Okay, a double KO here. There we go. Beastman and Fairy. One damage for each Beastman and Fairy. Again, one shield for each Beastman and Fairy. I'm going to take the Lollipop because Lollipop is just a really strong card. And uh, something cool that I can now do is now that I have 300 coins, I go here, choose to duplicate a card, come all the way down to Lollipop, and replicate Lollipop because she's just too strong. Enemies drop 50% more coin. Every time you heal yourself, deal 10% of your maximum HP to a random enemy. Gonna take that, because I heal constantly. And then we go ahead and go boop into the next elite fight. Give ourselves as much resistance as we can in the same turn. Give everyone weak. Do as much damage as we can with Lollipop. Boom. And we just deal a bunch of damage to everybody. We might actually end up proccing his extra damage phase, which would actually suck, but it's pretty easy to kill him once we start doing massive amounts of damage from all our healing. So we're going to go... Doing about 16 damage so far. Take a bunch of damage because we don't have any armor. More than enough damage to block all of that. Going for a lollipop. And all of our extra healing. There we go, and he's down to the last one. There we go. Almost full HP anyways. And then we go into Lost World. <laughs> this guy. Bunch of damage our first turn. He's gonna give us a weak. Ah, oh, he's gonna give us bleed. That's fine. Take no extra damage this turn. Of course we managed to flip him. Toss down our Mermaid Queen. Get a bunch of healing out. Do a bunch of damage to him. We'll play the Oracle Statue when it comes back around. Take a bunch of damage here, regardless. Try to heal as much as we can. And then you just go in for death. Um, honestly, I'm going to probably take the gemstone here as well. So, for beginners, you're going to want to go up the far right side because this is the very end. Um, for anyone else though, you're going to want to go and hit as many elites as you can. Yeah, you're going to go up the far right side as well. That way you can hit the merchant room right before the boss. So 
go ahead and gain immune this turn. Don't take any damage. Be able to block almost all of it here. We're going to take three damage. And then, of course, he dies at the end of our turn. Um, we're going to take the Earth Seed because we get the shield. And if we could upgrade him before the very end, that would be actually pretty nice. So we're going to go... As much shield as we can. We can hit that 200 shield mark before the boss would be good. So 34 that turn. It's not bad. We're going to end up killing him just from our healing alone. So I'm not too worried about killing him too quickly. I think we're a little over a hundred at this point, so we can go be able to stop ourselves from taking too much damage here. End up killing him. Take the angel priestess for more healing. Sadly, we don't have the ability to burn anyone, so we're not going to do that. Um, hmm. Give everyone weak. We're gonna kill this dude as quickly as possible. There we go. Oh, we're gonna take a bit of damage here. That's fine. It's gonna hurt a little bit, but it's not gonna kill us. HP back up to 70. There we go. Let's see if we can't get our HP back up to full. as close to full as oh we actually are full nice another lollipop okay we'll do lollipop it is whereas i think we're really close to the 200 mark at this point yep there it is They need to die as close together as they can. So we're gonna go that, that. Give ourselves some extra armor, do a bunch of damage. I think we might be able to kill them this next turn. Because we go boop, boop, boop. And they both die, cool. Take the gemstone. Um, Chimera's not a beastman, so sadly we're not going to take it. It was pretty brutal. We took him down from 99 all the way down to this, so... There we go. Managed to kill him in the one turn, or two turns. We took it down by 60. Now we're going to take a little bit of damage, but that's not too bad. Ah, 
Ah, we finally leveled up the fairy as well, so... Cool. Let's see. I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. Get as close to full as we can. We're going to take another healer elf. Um, let's see. Every tenth card you play, days a random enemy. Raise your max HP by 1 after turn. Man is conserved between turns. At the start of the turn, apply a random debuff on yourself and gain 6 shield. Honestly, let's go with this. Let's re-roll all the skills in the shop. Let's take Frog Leg. Let's take... I guess that's what we're going with. Let's go up to full. And we're fighting Golem. That's okay. We should be able to out-sustain him. Okay. Let's see. doing a bunch of damage already. We're blocked. More than enough shield there. There we go. I'll give him 10 turns of debuff. Doesn't really matter. Able to gain 200 shield from Lollipup in one turn is just ridiculous. too worried because I blocked all of his damage with immunity. Able to do damage before it applies the shield to him, which is pretty nice. And we're going to be able to kill him with Lollipup. Lollipup's just too strong against this guy. There we go. Just like that, the strength of Lollipup